Welcome to Dude No Way Live, where we embark on a quest to play the greatest games of all time. I'm your host, Moonchild of Dude No Way, and today we are adjusting to the Season 10 meta in Overwatch 2. Season 10 just released, Venture is here, we got a brand new hero that we played all day yesterday, so if you guys haven't seen that show, go ahead and check that out after this. And uh, the new hero's shaking up the meta a little bit, dude. And because of that, we're going to need to figure out what the best counters to Venture are, what the best uh, co-op play with the character is, where can you fill in the gaps that Venture can't quite take care of on their own. And uh, we're going to be diving into that today here in the gameplay portion of the show, which will happen in just a little while. But first, we have some... Life Weaver gameplay sent in by our viewer, the spicy one, and because unfortunately I already uh, I let you guys know, but unfortunately we are unable to access the replays prior to the season ten patch, which means that everyone who had sent one in it has now been wiped, and unfortunately there just weren't enough days be between um, then and uh, the season ten patch to actually um, to get everything in. Sorry about that, guys. Also, I didn't know for certain that they were going to wipe everything, but indeed they did. Took away all of the saved gameplays that were uh, stuck in our uh, gameplay, uh, like our history here under the replays tab. And because of that, we had to start over from square one. So I want to thank Spicy One for sending in this footage. We have two gameplays of Life Weaver today. Uh, one is uh, specifically testing out the Tree of Life buffs and trying to see. Um, you know, how that went, and uh, the first one is here on Shambhali Monastery, so we're just going to go ahead and boot that up, and we'll give it a shot. We're going to be looking for mistakes. We're going to be looking for mistakes and room for improvement, and if you would like to have your gameplay reviewed here on the show, you can send me the import code to DudeNoWayLive at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to turn it into some content. So, Spicy One is here. He is attacking, it looks like. Um... You know, uh, let me just uh, let me just check the email. All right, we got a uh, this match. I was just seeing uh, how he is in season ten. So, uh, spicy one, are you uh, Albert Wesker in this match? I'm assuming you are Albert Wesker. Uh, presumably, you are here and watching. Um, just gonna go ahead and put it on you. I'm gonna assume this is you, and we are uh, we're defending here. Off the start, we have a... That defines the limits of our understanding. Shut up, Life Weaver. Off the start, we have a Venture. We have yourself as Life Weaver. We have a Kiriko, and we have a... I am gonna freak out. Me too. Um, <laughs> and we have a Doomfist here. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the characters are talking over me in my own headphones. Um, we have a Doomfist, and then we, uh, we have an Ash as well. So we're going to have a pretty balanced team on the defense here. Got somebody to handle the long sight line off the start. You got somebody to fight in the uh, close range uh, that can go in and dive with Doomfist. You have a uh, support that can actually dive in with Doomfist as well. And yourself, which uh, will be presumably played more in the back line. So this will be something to look forward to. You are breaking out the railings. This is good. Your venture should be breaking out the railings over here. I don't know what they're doing, but that's what they should be doing. <clears throat> I'm not alone. The scientific community is on my side. Cell, good morning. How are you? Welcome. Uh, we are reviewing Spicy One's Season 10 Life Weaver footage. Finally joined early this time. I appreciate you being here early. Um, I know that it's extremely early uh, to wake up. Uh, the, uh, the uh, what is it, like 8, 8 o'clock in the morning by you? Like, who wants to be up doing stuff at that hour, right? I know the feeling. I, that's the time I wake up every day, so I know exactly how you feel. It would be wise not to count on that for long. All right, so we're breaking out the railings here. At least you know how to break out railings. Cool, cool. You're good. Is Spicy One the Albert Wesker one? I believe he is. And I'm not 100% not certain. I'd be interested to find out. Like, why have more than one account? Um, like, uh, uh, what's the point? What's the point of that? Especially since it, like, in Overwatch, it's not like you have, um, it's not like you have progression on characters like you would in, like, an MMO or something like that, right? Where, uh, like, it would make sense maybe if you had more than one account, like, one is the free-to-play version, one is the, um, one is the, like, paid version, and then you're trying to see what the difference between the two experiences are. I, I kind of don't get it with, uh, Overwatch, though, like, is it because you feel like you're hard stuck on one account? 
I don't think that that is really the case. I woke up early today to do a lot of work, since I'm going to be out of town this weekend for more work, so I shall be working during the live stream, mayhaps. Hey, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You gotta get, uh, gotta get the work done where you can. It's important to get paid and maintain the lifestyle, so however you gotta maintain your, uh, you know, your quality of life, you gotta do what you gotta do for that. I totally understand. Uh, where are you going this weekend? All right, so... The match has just started here. Your Ash is, in fact, on the high ground, which is great. Your, um, uh, your venture is presumably somewhere underground. There they are. Uh, not quite underground, but over in the corner here. Too far away to be of any real use as a venture, but that's okay. Um, Kiriko is on the side. You want to make sure that you are not in, uh, too much line of sight of the doors as the match starts here you don't know if they have a widow maker which we can tell on the replay that they do not have a widow but that being said you don't know that so you need to make sure that your doors are line of sighted and uh you are not the first one to be taken out by a stray bullet here you should be charging up your pedal if you're going to do that or getting ready to thorns if you're going to do that there's the pedal good where's your oh shit pedal i don't think you threw one down uh, you uh, you definitely need your um, definitely need your uh, safety pedal on the ground so that you can get that cooldown working already, and then that way you know before they even got here you could have had this off of cooldown again. I'm gonna be I'm going to a different city in Texas for a concert because I made a wardrobe set for one of my favorite artists and her USA tour. Oh my God! Congratulations! That's insane. That's that's amazing. Congratulations. I got invited to uh, to do a concert in Texas once, twice actually. Um, back when I did music in like my uh, in like my early to mid twenties, I got invited to South by Southwest, um, but I didn't end up going because nobody wanted to go with me, and I didn't want to go alone. Like, is that stupid? I didn't feel like going by myself. I felt I felt like I would be, you know, uh, like like a uh, small fish in a big pond, right? Like a, like a fish in the ocean out there all by myself, so I decided not to go, but yeah. Way back in the day. That's amazing. Alright, so you're uh, healing the Doom. You're healing the Kiriko. This is good. Their team has a Malga. They have a Tracer. They have a Soldier. A Mercy and a Kiriko. Um, they are going to flank you. You can expect that a team like this will try and flank you, especially the... the uh, Tracer, but specifically the Tracer plus the Kiriko could flank you and kill you very easily. So, I want to be on your toes for this one. And your Kiriko already down. She probably shouldn't have been there to begin with, but, you know, she, she got taken out by the soldier on the other team. You see that the, the dive is already coming for you. The Tracer's already coming up the side. You know that the soldier is there, but I don't... I don't think you know, excuse me, I bit my tongue, that the Tracer is there yet. Um, so this could get dangerous quick. Not going is very valid. I've been debating on not going to the concert because I'm going alone as well. But I just keep going through with it. I, th I think you should. I think you should. Specifically because, like, whether or not you're playing the music, they're wearing your stuff. That means you're part of the concert, dude. That is so cool. Like, why, you know, you can't miss that, right? How many opportunities in our life are we going to get to have something like that happen? Like, that's amazing. Alright, so this Tracer is on you right now, and you immediately drop down. In doing so, you, like, you put yourself directly in the line of sight with the Soldier. And, like, yes, you do get your heal there, but your Doom is not going to peel for you. You actually, it looks like you have no one to peel for you. I don't know where Venture is, bro. Venture is off in, there they are just way over playing their hand. Venture is off in Narnia, and you are dead, probably, in this scenario. You could probably throw your pedal and maybe get up and out of the way, but if this Tracer were good, uh, she would kill you before you have a chance to. And you were able to get up and out of the way, that's good. Again, uh, Tracer deals 480 damage a clip, so she could very, very easily kill you uh, before you realize she's even there. Okay, your ash goes down. Like, you're you're playing this kind of right, right? Like, you're trying to keep your doom alive, and that's good. You know, your team is falling apart around you. They're folding like paper in the rain, uh, but it is what it is. There's only so much you could do about that one. Your doom is dead. You are also dead. 
Um, you should have, as soon as your team started dying, you got to start making your way over here so that you have an easy escape route, right? And that way you can preserve your own life. You can just, um, you need to learn to see what will happen in the future. I know that sounds crazy, but if you learn to predict the future, you will be caught unaware less often. Right now you are going to die before you have a chance to get back, more than likely. There's just a lot of them around you. Thankfully, your venture is here to uh, get the aggression of the tracer on uh, someone else. That this is actually, this right here is actually the best thing you could have hoped for insofar as that, like, when this character dies, you probably won't be killed because of that. Also, they're not chasing you, which is crazy. Like, you would think the Malga would charge you, the soldier would rush up the stairs next to you, um, and, then, and then you would just die, but, like, for whatever reason, uh, and again, this is comp, too, but... For what, or is it, is it? Actually, I don't think it is. No, this is a uh, quick play. That's probably why. They're just not a high enough level to understand how to play the game properly. They should have killed you, is what I'm saying. Okay, this is fine. You did get out of there, although a little bit late. You see the soldier, the soldier, it just clicked in his mind. He's like, wait a second, I could chase that guy, right? And then, and then he comes up, genius, bro. See, this should have this should have happened already, right? They would have they would have gotten you at a higher rank. But again, this is quick play, so what do you expect, right? All right, uh, this is this kind of fine. You still haven't thrown one of your pedals. You need to be prioritizing your pedals more. You're not doing that again, uh, so that's not great. You're standing in the middle of the room, but so your entire team standing in the middle of the road. Like, uh, like we got three team mascots on this one, which is awesome. You guys are great. You're like the cheerleading. You're like the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders right now, bro. Just cheering Doomfist on. What is cover? Nobody knows, bro. We've never heard of cover. Okay, so the soldier is behind you right now. The, the Tracer is in front of you right now. The Ash is here. The Kiriko is here, which means there's enough targets that you may or may not die. You might not, just based on the fact that the Soldier probably won't be able to kill you. Uh, but that being said, in a higher rank, you would be punished for this. In in a rank where things, like, where people do things that make sense, you would be punished for this maneuver here. We're gonna watch. You're getting shot slightly. You get yourself up and out of the way, that's fine. Okay, and again, like, you're just completely ignoring this absolute threat to yourself. Again, like, when things when things make sense, you will die, you will be punished for this, right? So this guy, you need to be pinging him, you need to be calling out that the soldier is on your left to your team, you need to be engaging with him, so that, like, y your Kiriko is already looking at Doom, Kiriko is not getting shot by soldier. You can't just ignore that, bro. Like, that's like a hive of bees right next to you. And they're like, they're stinging you. And you're just like, oh, man, this is such a good, uh, what a, what a beautiful car down there, dude. Amazing. Like, you gotta, you have to deal with that in some way. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, you probably, yeah, you, I mean, ideally you would have died a little bit sooner than that, but I'm glad that you took the L for that one so that you understand that you can't just ignore stuff like that. Okay. Your Ash. Your Ash tried, right? She tried. But again, Sniper standing in the middle of the street with absolutely no cover. What did she expect was going to happen? Now, their uh, Tracer and their Soldier are in deep. Like, real deep. So, if your Kiriko and your Venture turn around at this moment, there's the potential that both the enemy DPS die at the same time. Tracer gets out. Soldier is dead, though. There's no way that Soldier lives through this unless this Venture is terrible. Okay, Soldier's already dead, so we're good there. The Tracer gets away. That's not that big of a deal. Their tank charges in, like he should, to create space as they round the corner. Um, although he has pushed in pretty deep, both of his support are alive, so I don't think there's any real danger to him unless your team suddenly hits the best shots of all time, which they're not. There we go. There we go. Doom did it. Okay, so Doom Meteor striked behind him and rocket punched him into the middle of this room, away from his support players, and now you guys have a split second to kill him, potentially before Kiriko dives and, uh, like, teleports to him and Suzu's. 
So let's see if your team follows up. I would imagine they would, right? Well, the, the Malga tried to charge out, and it was a valiant effort, but he appears to have run directly into a wall. Well, that's kind of what he gets, right? And then the Mercy just brings him back, and we're totally fine. I think your team loses this, probably. Actually, I take it back. Three of theirs just died. Malga, yes, Malga is back. But, so that means, like, you know, they're still... They've got Soldier coming back from the spawn, right? And Kiriko is over here. But I think, uh, you know, your team... Your team definitely took a long time. That was really good. That was perfect right there. How fast that, that, that um... Malco went down. That's how quickly you get punished when things are for real, for real. Good, you remembered your pedal this time. Great. Awesome. And you're maintaining your distance here. It's time to go down. Time to go down and find them. You don't need to go this way. You have a perfectly good window right here that you can utilize. Right? And you, and you can stay on the high ground. And this will keep you away from them. And then they have to turn around and run up the stairs or run up the street. Going this way is the long way. That is your ash. Here we go. Again, you could have already had them in your line of sight by now. If Doomfist goes too deep, that's on Doom. He shouldn't be up at their spawn anyway. That's what he gets. Cool. Your uh, venture can't deal with that Malga. Again, if you'd have been over here, you would not have been chargeable. The Malga can't charge up to the high ground like this. So if you'd have been here instead of over on the side of the street, you would have lived. Uh, you'll probably still live, but you know what I mean. You wouldn't have gotten charged. Their soldier is using tack visor. Your venture goes down, tracer's on you. A slick movement on your part. You uh, you let everybody die, and you got yourself out of there. That's kind of fine. Um, it's kind of every man for himself during the tack visor. And also, you guys were all standing in the middle of the street with no cover. So, like, a soldier had free reign to uh, to come in and just destroy you. Uh, you need to life grip your tank back up to you, because this is a lost cause. All of this, all these people right here, this is a lost cause. You can't win this. And Doom should know better. Nah, yeah, no, you need to, you need to do have life gripped him here. Um, and he should have known. Like, you know what would have happened because this is quick play. Doom would have gotten life gripped up, and then he would have immediately dove back down into the middle of them and died anyway. But you should have life gripped him to have tried to, tried to talk some sense into him, right? Like, hey, asshole, you can't win this fight against five people, and you're stupid if you think you can. Uh, that being said, we just, you, we just get to say the last part, right? He's just stupid. It's time to, uh, you need to get aggressive with this tracer. Uh, you needed to have thorns at her a little bit. That's unfortunate. That's a, that's a life weaver problem right there. Your character that you were trying to heal died before you could charge up your blossom. That sucks. Uh, yeah, so this tracer needs to be aggressed on because she will just keep coming after you if you don't get, um, uh, mean to her. If you don't hurt her and put her life in danger, she'll just keep coming after you over and over again. Good. Fantastic. Just wait. Yeah, and you're, you're just waiting for the tank, right? Good. Awesome. Try not to peek this window. Putting a little bit of damage here is putting your life in danger. Uh, that being said, their Malga can't shoot worth a damn. Uh, but their Kiriko, their Kiriko plus one Helix Rocket, uh, one Helix Rocket plus Malga, Malga plus one shot from Kiriko is your death instantly in this window, right? So, like, again... I want to discourage you from doing things that will get you killed at higher ranks. Peaking the entire enemy team, even if your team is full health, like this, while they like they have nowhere else to look but up at you. So, like, of course they're going to be shooting at you. Peaking the entire enemy team at higher ranks will get you killed. Instantly killed. Well, so... Your uh, Kiriko tried to use Kitsune Rush and ended up... Oh, man, she got it. She was able to get the Kitsune Rush off. I thought she got interrupted. You can actually interrupt that with the Malga Stomp, uh, which it sounded like she did. It interrupted the voice line, but it looks like the fox got out. Excuse me. 
<clears throat> excuse me, I'm burping. Um, so your team was able to take you, uh, make use of this Kitsune Rush. That being said, inside of the cage fight, um, you should you should probably life grip Kiriko out of there. The Doom Fist can be kept alive by you and Kiriko. Uh, but I don't think that you guys will survive. I don't think Kiri will survive this for another one second of being in there. And she didn't. I mean, it is good that you were able to life grip someone out, but if you'd have life gripped Kiriko out, you both could have healed Doom, right? Uh, but now your venture is stuck in the cage. It is what it is. That's venture's fault. That's their fault. And you were able to keep them up. Again, you should not be able to heal through the cage, but that's a topic for another uh, another stream. Okay, your Doomfist is gone. Man, their team is bad at killing you, bro. They are so bad at putting you down. This is sad to look at. All right, so Bob comes out. You got your extra DPS here. I can't believe you just walked past these people. Like, you know they're there, right? Like, you can't... You can't just let them exist in your flank. You can't just turn your back to the enemy like that. That should that you should die for this. And you almost do. Why are you uh, why are you allergic to this health pack? You can see it right in front of you. It's right in front of your face. You know it's there. Why why don't you take it? Why don't you pick it up? You still don't pick it up. Bro. Pick up the health pack. What is Doomfist doing? Did he just get caught? He's caught. Bro, he's stuck. This is hilarious. Alright, he made it out. Thank God, right? Jesus Christ, Doom. That, I bet you that Doom's butthole was clenched so hard. Okay. The soldier. The soldier's dead, bro. This soldier's dead. What's he doing over here with no support, with no tank? Uh, like, fuck all. That's what he's doing. He's doing absolutely nothing. Um, a soldier dies. He deserves to get punished here. Murder him. Go, you go. Yeah, you, no, you go up there and shoot him too. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we put him down immediately. Now Malga has done the same thing. Now we turn around and kill Malga. But I think Doomfist could probably just punch him off the map. But uh, again, you turn around and you help punish this character. You absolutely... Yep, there you go. Good job, Doom. That's what happens, dude. That's why you don't come up without your team. Cool. This is fine. You guys are doing a good job holding them. Make sure you call out to Doom not to go too deep. He's fine, though. He's fine right here. He's doing good. He did not go too deep. How have I done so far? I wasn't here earlier. Uh, Spicy One, you're doing good so far. Doing good. You forgot your pedal in the beginning. You are also neglecting your pedal now. Um, like you're, uh, putting it on cooldown. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry. The cat was going crazy. I had to stop them from attacking each other. Um, so anywho. Yeah, so you're doing good. Your, um, your pedal usage needs to, uh, be increased. You forgot about it, uh, at the beginning. You forgot about it now. And the other thing I wanted to ask was, how come you have more than one account? Um, like I like I was saying earlier, I would kind of understand in like a like an MMO or like a game where there was progression uh, of some kind. Like, but like it, I don't know why why two accounts? Why more than one in a PvP game? Like the only thing you're missing out on is skins, basically. Just curious, out of curiosity. You should use tree here. Um, their team is around this corner. You know that they're pretty much all here. As soon as you hear, uh, Malga come around the corner, you should use Tree. You have a perfect line of sight to put it. You know, you could uh, drop it, like, right here, right? Which will catch everybody inside of your, inside of your Tree extra health that will come out. Um, you're just holding it too long. There's kind of no reason to have it for this long. Um, I'm grinding a friend's battle pass for them. Grinding mine and theirs. Got it. Got it. Okay, well, that makes a lot more sense. I was like, why... Why in Overwatch? Like, I could see it in, like, like in Destiny, right? Where Destiny has, like, a free version of the game and a paid version of the game, and the things that you can acquire in both versions of the game are different. Therefore, you would want to know 
you know, how does it play from a free player's perspective? How does it play from somebody who buys everything's perspective, right? That makes sense. Um, also, you know, doing that, uh, grinding somebody else's battle pass for them is very nice of you. That also explains why you're not in comp. Again, just use this tree. You know Malga's here now. Doom, yeah, dude. This is, like, earlier when I said you gotta call out to Doom not to go too deep, and I said that he was doing fine, he very quickly stopped doing fine. Like, uh, he was right here, he was fighting the team, that was totally fine, and then he became the team mascot, right? He became the team mascot, he presses power block, what happens? Immediately dusted. Doom is gone. Also, like, is it just me? Is it this skin? Or, like, does Doom have, like, a Kratos look about his skin going on right here? Like, he's covered in the ash of his enemies? You know what I mean? He looks gray to me. Anywho. That's what Doom gets. Uh, yeah, dude, I would, uh, like I said, as soon as the Malga got here, I would have used Tree. Since you didn't yet, um, I still think that your team has the potential to win this with the help of the Tree. I probably wouldn't use it now that the tank is dead, though. Like, if the Tree were already up, I think you guys could win this. Right now, I don't think you use it. Yeah, it's time to leave. It's time to go. Need to call it out. I'm leaving. Why? Why? Why are you plotting out the dig site now? Of all the times you could have plotted out the dig site, this is not the time to initiate excavation, dude. Like, what do you think is going to happen? You're gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. This is so bad. This is this is incredibly, incredibly uh, bad gameplay on the part of your venture. Let me pop ult in front of the entire enemy team, dude. Seems like a good call. What could go wrong? Um, I was holding my tree because I couldn't find a chance because I was trying not to use my tree when I didn't need it. Yeah, but you're doing that thing again where you're holding it too long. Um, Jesus, I don't know if you can hear those cats, but Jesus Christ, they are losing their mind. Hang on. Plot twist. The one cat is asleep on her chair. The other cat is the one absolutely losing their mind. I thought they were fighting. Like, it was so loud, I literally thought both cats were fighting. No, the one cat just, uh, I don't know, has the zoomies or something? I'm not exactly sure. But it sounded like they jumped up on the table and everything had fallen off the table. Like, so, I, I had to investigate. No, come to find out, that cat's just running around like a crazy person. So anyway... Yeah, so you're holding the tree just a little bit long. The one the one cat fighting demons, bro. That cat is in a league of its own. It's in a war with one soldier right now. Like this shit is crazy. I have no idea why. Like all like nothing is happening. I'm in a room completely alone. Like no one is even here. So like what are you so upset about? And and the dog isn't even in the room, so I can't even blame it on the dog. Like they're not playing with each other. I have no idea. I don't get it. Hang on. Okay. I heard a weird noise. Anyway. So your venture chose a terrible time to ult. Thankfully your doom fist came back, dude. Your doom fist came back and with the help of your doom, your venture was able to take out Malga. Uh, the mercy is here though. And if they don't stop the Mercy, then the Mercy's just going to res him. So, let's see what happens. Oh my god, you're a genius, bro. Thank god. Thank god you killed that Mercy. Because the Venture was not going to be able to do it. I should know. I, try I tried it like three times yesterday as Venture. It's a real pain in the ass. You have to have your Drill Dash available to knock her off of the res. Uh, because the primary fire doesn't actually deal enough damage fast enough to kill her. 
Play Adventure all day yesterday, and there was like four times where a Mercy got a res, even though I was right in front of them, shooting them in their face. And in those moments, I can't help but think, this wouldn't have happened if I were Sojourn, you know, or if I were Soldier. Like this, you would have never lived if I were Tracer, right? But, uh, but that's kind of the nature of projectile DPS and not being able to crit. You see that I have an echo now, based on the sticky bombs coming around. Gotta make sure that Doom knows not to go too deep. When Doom gets low, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. When Doom gets below 50%, Echo's gonna use Focusing Beam, and it will obliterate him in, like, one second. So, uh, you gotta be careful. While the Echo is here, you gotta make sure that the Doom Fist stays above 50% health at all times. Because it only takes, like I said, it only takes one second, literally. This is great. Good job. Good job. That was the character that was Tracer earlier. You've now shown them two times that you are not to be trifled with. This is exactly what you need to do. Gotta show your teeth sometimes. You're not just a support. You brought guns. Or I guess in this case, uh, flowers. Yep, yep. Yep, we tried, like you did your best. You did exactly the right thing right there. Again, this is a whole team fight, right? Uh, an entire team fight has broken out. You could easily drop tree and be fine. You ever play a video game and you make it to the end of the game and you have these items that you've had since the beginning of the game that you never used because you were waiting for the perfect moment to use it? And that is literally, like if you played any game that has an ending, I bet you that has happened and that is you with tree of life right now, bro. Like, it is, it is burning a hole in my back pocket. I'm not even in this game. Uh, we need to use this at some point so that we can get another one. You could have had another tree by now. Cool. You guys are full holding them pretty, pretty easily here. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get out of the way. Um, your echo was able to kill their echo very quickly. Um, so that's what, you know, their echo, again, this is the second or third time this character has come up around the corner with zero support and tried to, like, get some kills with no one here to capitalize. You cannot win a 1v5. Like, it, it will never happen. You will ne it doesn't matter what character you're playing. You could be playing Zarya at full charge. You still will not win a 1v5. It's not possible, dude. That's what she gets. Yes, exactly. Thank you. I was gonna say, mar her corpse for me, and you did. It's fantastic. Okay, you know they're coming, right? So as soon as they come around this corner, you use tree. What is that, bro? Why all the way up here? This is Chump Malka gameplay. Uh, he ran all the way past his support character. Um, like, he only has Mercy with him as well. Like, Kiriko's still coming up. So, like, yes, yeah, she could teleport to him. She could be there relatively quickly. But, um, uh, running past your, like, your entire team into the enemy team's backline is, uh, it should be death. It should be seen as death. Every time you think of it, it should be death. And, uh, and hopefully he gets punished. I see. That's just hilarious. I think everybody should just leave him alone so that he could just stand there looking stupid inside of his cage fight. What a ridiculous play on the part of this Malga. Absurd. I think we all just ignore him, right? And then we kill everyone on, like, kill every one of his friends, and then you come back and then you look at him with his dunce cap on, and then you kill him. And which is basically what happened, right? Like, the Kiriko was like, oh, I could get up to him. But then she heard the cage fight and she was like, yeah, never mind. Look, she's gonna let him die, bro. She let him die. She really did, look. She was like, I can teleport to him, but for what? Oh my god, that is hilarious. Uh, their Echo also dies here. Yeah, their Echo gets punished for being here alone. Again, I don't know why they didn't learn. I don't know why they didn't learn. They haven't learned. And if their Kiriko comes out and starts throwing kunai from over here, well, then Kiriko dies too. Nah, nah, Kiriko's got a brain in her head. She was like, hmm... Seems like everybody's dead. I guess I should just uh, not engage. 
Good call. Good call. They have enough time for one more push anyway. You've held this ultimate for the entire game. Not a single tree has come out yet. This is good. You're keeping everybody alive. You kept yourself line of sighted from the enemy team. The Mercy got pushed off the map and has nobody to fly to, so that's hilarious. And, um, you know, you didn't have to throw out thorns, so you didn't. That's good. The team is succeeding wildly here, so this is great. We get to watch Mercy slowly float to her death. Aw, oh, and she's gone. Are we going to use this tree today, or are we saving it for tomorrow's game? You started to, and then you canceled the tree animation? Alright. My god, that was easy, huh? They're not gonna do anything, bro. This is one of the worst DPS characters I've ever seen. That's, yeah, that, good game, dude. Good game. You forgot your, um, you forgot your pedals several times throughout this game. Don't forget to throw your pedal and keep it on cooldown. Uh, that is one, uh, critique I, I have for you. Another critique I have for you is, um, use your ultimate, please, for the love of God. Use your ultimate. Stop holding on to it so long. Um, it's, it's not gold. It's not a diamond. Like, just use it, bro. It's not even that good of an ultimate. Like, just use it so that you can get another ultimate. Like, as soon as the team fight breaks out, you use your support ult to initiate. You know, and then you win the team fight decidedly based off of you using that one ult. Right? And like, and like I said, like, look, look, I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm still going back. You've had your ultimate that entire time. You know? So definitely use that. Also, there was a moment where you all stood in the middle of this street. Um, stop doing that. Uh, make use of your cover. There, there was another moment where you, right before you went and stood in the middle of the street with all three of you, uh, to be uh, the Dallas cheerleader squad for, um, for Doomfist. There's that, the, the moment right before that, you failed your map knowledge check when you didn't realize you could have just walked over here and saved yourself eight seconds worth of running. Don't forget to uh, play your map a little bit smarter. Um, utilize the lanes on the map that give you high ground positioning before you utilize the wide open spaces that take away your high ground positioning. Because again, like imagine you were up here, right? The Malga charges you, and then he's underneath looking stupid, right? And then, or you take a bunch of damage, and then you drop down and get this health pack and walk back up the stairs, right? Like, you had so much agency in that moment uh, that you gave away because you didn't play the map well. Um, the game overall, I think you did really good. Uh, it took you a little bit to get aggressive with their tracer, but when you finally did, you put her dick in the dirt like four times in a row. That's what she gets. And uh, yeah, dude, I think this was a pretty good game overall. All right, so that's that one. And now we got uh, Paraiso. We're gonna go ahead and check that one out as well. I'm gonna take a sip of my Red Bull while we load that up. You know, Spicy One, it's funny because when I was watching this, like I see, when you email me, when you email me your import codes, I can see what your Google name is. And so, like, when I loaded up that last game and I saw Albert, I was like, I know your name isn't Albert, bro. Like, who is Albert, dude? That's funny. Oh, you got the same tank this game. That's cool. Um, is this a friend of yours? Venom P? That sounds gross. Okay. You don't need to... These are, these are good, right? These are the ones that you need, though. Okay, Doomfist is already up there doing it. Um, these ones here. These ones here. Uh, these are good. You, you know, you break these out along the way. That is a friend of yours? Cool, cool. Yeah, Doomfist also did well. There was a few times when Doomfist overextended, and, uh, you know, you, you gotta make sure, especially since they're your friend, you know, tell them, stop being stupid with your life, right? Just stop, like, play your life better. Don't stand in the middle of the street and hold block like an idiot. Aside from that, I really have no gripes about what Doom did that game. I think they were pretty good. 
Not even just as far as Doomfists go either. Like, I think they were pretty good overall. You should be taking a high ground here. Um, you have not thrown your pedal yet. The game is about to start. You could go up here, walk across this, jump over here, take this high ground position. You could throw a pedal back here, right? And then and then have a quick, easy, safe place to be. Um, you need to use your positioning. But you are breaking out the railing, so I give you props for that. And you do take the high ground just a little bit late. And you gave up the high ground. Um, the far didn't start shooting you yet, so I think you would have been safe to have stayed there. Also, from this distance, they have a gigantic delay before the shots actually reach you, so you could very easily just walk out of the way. Travel time is the words I was looking for, but I couldn't find them. Yep, you're doing good. You're keeping them up. Good. This is great. Good. So, um, your team has a pretty good setup. Their team um, has a pretty good setup as well. Although, Venture is kind of, like, questionable on this map. Because, like, you have to get pretty close with Venture to be able to get value. So, like, just in general, I feel like your team has the advantage over theirs. That being said, um, their if their Ram is really good, he could potentially beat your Doom. I don't think that will happen, but that is, you know, that is a possibility. Because, like, okay, so, and, and to, to elaborate on what I mean, if Ram can get Doom where Doom overuses his cooldowns, where, hang on, what is this, bro? What is going on with his legs, dude? What is that? We got, like, uh, Ram-Zen combo going on here. Anyway, so, if Doom mistimes some cooldowns and Ram is tracking them properly, Ram can use his anti-fly ability to slow Doom inside of it, which at a high rank will be enough time for their team to kill Doom. Um, so, like, again, it's very unlikely in a quick play game that that will actually happen. However, this character can shut down Doom pretty easily if the right set of circumstances come up. But no, he's just gonna punch over and over again at people that aren't going to die and then die himself, right? Good. Tell Doom don't overextend. At least try scanning. Good. Good, good. They came back. Awesome. We're not up at their spawn door. Awesome. There's nothing I hate worse than seeing people walk up to the spawn door on this map, dude. That drives me crazy. Alright. Got your high ground again. This is great. Feeling good. All is well. It's wild that you were able to hit that Lucio through the wall. Alright, so you're getting walled off right now. You need to tell Doom that he broke line of sight of you and is about to be in some serious danger. Excuse me. Because, well, Doom can very realistically kill this Farah in this situation because, like, the first of all, the Bap, the Zen even is dead. Uh, but the... um. The Farah is on the ground, essentially, next to a Doom Fist in close quarters with a wall behind her. So she could just be one hit by the rocket punch. So, uh, but you need to tell him that he is up Shit's Creek if he gets, like, dove or overwhelmed. Sorry if I don't do as good in these matches as my last ones. I was just playing for fun with my friends. It's all good, bro. Don't worry about it. Like I said, I say this all the time. We all make dozens of mistakes every single game, myself included. Like, we make tons of mistakes all the time. Don't worry about it. We're all human. That's fine. I think that's fine. You know, you saved him from, uh, from taking too much damage. You want to heal Echo, but she won't let you. Good. This is good. You see how the Luce used his ultimate pretty quickly after getting it? Um, that's kind of a mindset I think you should take. The fight is going on. The fight has broken out, right? He got an ultimate. You know, you, you can use that to spiral the fight. And this is just one ultimate. You guys will probably win the fight just based off of that alone. 
You can do the same thing with tree. We must strike them down. And you did. You uh, you forced the others to retreat. You got the kill on their venture. It's looking good right now. Keeping Hanzo alive, good. You need to throw your pedal, bro. Your pedal needs to be down. It needs to be put on cooldown. Every time it is not down, you are wasting the potential for what could be a pedal should you need it later. This is fine. That sucks, but, you know, uh, the Echo was standing up here, got into line of sight with the Baptiste. It is what it is. That could have happened, <clears throat> excuse me, that could have happened to any character. Okay. Okay, with this far on you right now, first of all, you need to call it out. I need appeal from Farah. Second of all, what is this Baptiste window? Where even is Bap? Bap. Bap. My mans. What is that? How did you think that was okay? Anyway, that, that's a complete waste of the ultimate. You have a Mega right behind you, right? And you're gonna have to break line of sight with them to go get this Mega, but... If you had used your movement ability backwards instead of sideways, you could have realistically gotten to it a lot easier. If this Farah wants you dead, she can make sure that you do die. Nah, you tried, bro. You got stuck on the tree. You got stuck on the tree. You did it backwards just a little bit too late. That's totally fine. Um, you know, geometry kills you, which is the... You, I uh, just like Life Weaver to go hugging trees, bro. Look at him. Jesus Christ. No, I'm kidding. But the, um, yeah, dude, geometry kills me more than anything in any game. So I totally understand it happens. Uh, at least they wasted their bap window, right? I'm going to back it up to right here. We'll watch it from here. Like, Lucio is, Lucio should not be taking this fight. Lucio does not have what it takes to beat the Farah in a, in like, in a close quarter scenario, he takes damage no matter where the Farah's uh, rocket hits. Because, like, even if she doesn't get the direct hit, he's close enough that he takes the splash damage from the uh, from the rocket exploding. And then Baptiste is also here. This is... Like, if he doesn't get out right now, he dies. So he's running. That's good. Your Doomfist is, like, 4 HP... So he needs to get out. It looks like Malga's just gonna leave him alone. I don't know why Malga's leaving him alone, but it looks like that's what happened. Your Echo is back, so that's good. Um, potentially, you guys could hold them here. It's gonna be a real tough fight, though. Like I said, your uh, your Lucio is very low. Doom is very low. Echo's here, but not, not overextending, it looks like. So why would Doom go out right there, bro? Your Lucio... <laughs> knowing that you have five hit points, why would you... Why would you run? All right, cool. Yeah, just just get out of there, dude. Oh, he died. Well, we we kind of knew that was coming, right? Hanzo, uh, Hanzo, why? So Hanzo uses the spicy noodles, puts it across the point. Uh, you know what they can do uh, to the spicy noodles when they're not used in a place where like it's chaos. Like this is a very controlled setting right now. They have a lot of time to react to this. You know what they're gonna do? They're going to gently walk to the side. And then that's going to do nothing. They're just they'll just capture it from over there. That's not the way you use Hanzo's ultimate. Although I appreciate what he was trying to do. Um wasting an ultimate while no one is there to capitalize is really stupid. And if he dies, he dies. Good. Yeah, you see the window is or the um uh, immortality field is there. Time to go. You turn around, you throw your pedal. You get up to the high ground, right? That's exactly what you do. As soon as you hear, stop the payload. As soon as they take that point, you get on the high ground. Because that's a better place for you to be. You can do everything you're doing, but from the complete safety of that high ground position. And you still have your pedal. Somebody is coming from your side. 
Junkrat is coming from your side. You would not get hit by any Junkrat bombs if you were on the high ground. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Your team is not overextending here. I say as Doom goes all the way deep. Well. Yulucio tried. It is what it is, man. When I said they, like, literally, that's, those are like famous last words, right? As soon as I say, your team is not going deep, the first thing they do is line of sight you all the way in the back of the, whatever this is, the, the neighborhood, the favela, or whatever. Like, dude, it's, it's like, uh, it's like, they have to. As soon as I say they're not doing something wrong, they're compelled to do it. Just use... Wait for your other teammates to come back, and then after the Zen ult goes away, you can use Tree behind him and uh, and keep Doom alive with that. He's still contesting right now, but you need to wait for one more of your teammates to come back. Uh, at least Lucio. So you guys were able to knock the Malga. Doom was able to knock the Malga off onto the Mega Health Pack. And Malga can't get back up now. So right now, Doom can challenge the payload for free while Malga walks around. Bro, but Lucio jumps down. Lu <laughs> Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Lucio jumps down to try and 1v1 the Malga. You realize tanks take reduced knockback, right? You know you can't boop him from there off the ledge, right? That's not how it works, Lucio. You started to use tree, but you stopped. He's just not close enough. That was a good try. He's line of sighted the doorway, though. I could tell from the way that it was um, in your view. He line of sighted the tree, so he didn't get the, uh, the over health that comes from that. That sucks, man. He's also not going to get the healing pulse because it's through the wall. Well, it's time to go, by the way. If you didn't know, if you if you hadn't realized yet, it's time to get the hell out of here, dude. Like, yes, you're using your high ground position. Use it to your advantage and dip. Lucio should not be challenging this. You got a Lucio tank, bro. Alright, well, we'll see Lucio soon. You're gonna life grip him, right? Good, good, good. Waited a little bit long for it, but all right. Their tank goes down. Oh, Bap does know how to use the window. Look at that, dude. Don't stand. You never, ever engage through the Bap window. This is double damage. And you saw what happened. You went from, like, full health to dead in two bursts, in two shots of his primary fire. You never, ever engage. This is, like, the smaller version of a Kitsune rush, right? You just don't... You just don't fight into it. You just leave. You line of sight, whatever it is, you get yourself to a different angle, and then you don't have to worry about it. And Echo, if you fight into it and you die, I'm gonna laugh at you. Doomfist is also in too deep. He's got no support. This isn't even where the payload is. What the fuck are you doing back here, bro? I hope you die. Good. That's what you get. What were you even doing down there, man? Doing absolutely nothing. It took... Bro, it took both Echo and Hanzo to be able to engage with this BAP on the high ground position. And he killed Hanzo, bro. This BAP is incredible. Um, you know, this is a lost cause. We need to leave. Everybody on your team needs to leave. You don't even go up there because it's death. It's death over there. You see he's low health, but you've now put yourself in a position where you could potentially die. This, exactly. This is where we engage this from. Gotta wait for the team to come back. Okay. Doing fine.
The bap is gonna kill you, yeah. You lifted yourself up into a very vulnerable position with the high ground right there. The uh, the diva can fly up to you. The bap can also reach you from there. Uh, you just got yourself into a bad spot, man. Again, like we didn't need to break out of here. We had the entire team line of sighted right here. You were able to heal everybody. Lucio is over here off in Narnia doing whatever Lucio does when he goes on his little trips. Uh, like, you know, it is what it is. Your team loses this. It's time to back off. Like, we don't win. We straight up, we don't win this fight now. Maybe now we win it. If the echo is good. Diva. But I remain skeptical. Nah, and we see nine to the point, dude. We weren't even fighting on the point. We weren't even contesting the goddamn payload. Oh, there we go. It's too late now, though. Stop it. Their team, their team literally failed. You guys failed at first, and then their team failed a second time. Yikes. Again, like, like having two tanks on the field is an extremely heavy uh, pressure scenario for their team. So when Echo dupes D.Va, even though she only has 300 hit points, there is a lot that D.Va can do. There's a lot of places she can be. Defense Matrix is extremely powerful to enable Doomfist to do what he needs to do. Again, like, uh, this is the only reason we won that. But your team completely c 9 the point. And then their team c 9 the point. So, like, what a twist, right? M. Night Shyamalan couldn't have predicted that shit. Doom, don't, don't chase them. Why? Alright, he gets out. Good. Thank God. Just, just in general, just don't do that. That we can chase. That's close enough. Uh-oh. Thankfully, he's alone over there. Nobody even knows he fell. I'm very sorry for sending this in this bad gameplay. I'll send better gameplay next time. I also sent a Flashpoint, Sombra, and Symmetra match. Don't worry about it, bro. I'm uh, I'm happy to have uh, checked it out. Thank you for sending me something to review. I appreciate you. It's not your fault your team decided to fight it out when they had won the fight. And then they ended up losing the fight. Like, you can't even... Like I said, you can't predict this. This is some quick play gameplay, you know? And just use it. Just use tree. That was clutch. That was super clutch, dude. That was awesome. Congratulations. Are they going to see nine the point? Um, okay, so you go down, you know, you're, you're getting pounded on by a Reaper in a Kitsune rush. That's too much damage to live through. Um, but that being said, there's a lot of their team alive right now. I see. They could still contest it, though. Wow, what an idiot, bro. So this is the thing that lost them the game right here. I'm just going to back up a few seconds. I just want you to see it. Watch this, Cassidy. Watch what he does. Ready? And you see it? You see it? Look at look at what he's doing. Look at what he's doing. He rolls directly into the spicy noodles. And because of that, they can no longer contest. And he dies. And you guys win the game. What? Did I, what did I even just watch, bro? That was crazy. They won that so clearly. They won that so completely. And then fumbled the football so hard. You remember in Remember the Titans when the coach was like, you fumble the football, I will break my foot off in your ass, and then you will run a mile, right? Like, that is the moment where they would have been running a mile. That was horrendous. The other team, they just completely destroyed... All of their chance to win. I guess now you can check out Life Weaver's new highlight intro. Yeah, I did, actually. I did. What do you think of it? Do you like it? I saw him uh, sitting there with his little book. Um, it's not for me, personally. 
Uh, but I, I wanted to ask, do you like it? You said it's peaceful before. Like, like, dude, hang on, let's just back it up again. Let's back it up like 20 seconds, right? To the moment when they absolutely had it. Look at how many of their team are alive right now. Like, this is right as you go down. Right, you go down. Look, four of their team are alive right now, and the only person on your team that is alive at all is Doomfist. Bro. Okay, now Echo comes back. Okay, so Echo as well. So Doom... Doom kills the Reaper. Echo kills the Immortality Field. Again, still three of them alive right now. Bap uses Window. Instantly deleted. <laughs> like, what? what is this? I love it. I made it my new highlight intro for him. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Um, I am a different type of guy than you. I am, uh... I was telling, I was telling Star about this, actually, when I saw it for the first time. I was like, this is just not... It's just not me, you know? Like, I am a warrior. Like, I don't sit on a tree and read a book. I sit atop a pile of skulls, right? Like, uh, you know, like I, I sit on the Iron Throne from Game of Thrones. Like, I am a different type of person than you. And I respect your, um, I respect your peace-loving nature. I don't know how to say it, right? I expect the, I accept and respect the dichotomy of who we are as individuals. The, the extreme opposite ends of the spectrum between who you and I are. Like, I am a murderer. I, I, my show is all about killing things, right? Like, and then you are sitting on a tree reading a book, and I think that's beautiful. I think that it takes all kinds to build a bridge, and I am, you know, I am just not that guy. But I'm, I'm glad you like it. That is awesome. It's a good game, dude. Thanks for sending that in. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I will catch up with your other gameplays. You have some more sent in here. I'll check those out tomorrow, and then that way we will be able to uh, have something to review then. And, yeah, dude. I, I want to you don't like peaceful highlight intros, bro. That's just not who I am, man. Like I'm a I'm a I'm a killer dog. Like I'm a I'm from these streets, son. Like I I got the Glock in my sock, dude. Like what are we talking about here? That's just not me, you know. I'm just a different guy. That's all. Like I I am I'm out here for these heads. Like I'm I'm out here to to destroy things, right? And and ruin people at a fundamental level. Like I will make them not exist. That's me. Right? Like, that's my highlight intro. Like, more, uh, you know, I'm more of the Reaper than I am the Life Weaver. Like, like, my highlight intro for Reaper is Death Blossom. Right? Like, uh, th that's me. More so than Life Weaver. Although I do, I do respect it. Send you in a better Life Weaver gameplay next time. Whatever you want to do, bro, I appreciate it. It is very peaceful. It's very peaceful. Again... Like, I don't lean against a tree and read a book. I sit on a pile of skulls of my defeated enemies, right? That's, uh... That's the person that I am. But I, I'm glad you like it, dude. Alright, so... We're going in. I am... I'm at the gameplay portion of today's show. So if anybody wants to come and play games with me, you let me know in the chat here, and I would be happy to pull you in. I'm gonna go ahead and queue up, because the DPS queues have been horrendous. And if I see somebody uh, says something, then I will gladly pull myself out for that. Um, I feel bad for sending in such bad gameplay. You don't have to feel bad about nothing, bro. Nothing. I promise. I am I am more than happy to review the games and and enjoy spending the time checking out the gameplay and you know I like to talk as well like I don't know if you've met me but I love the sound of my own voice apparently like I never shut up so I am totally fine I'm totally good This is just another day at the office for me bro I'm at work right now So it like it doesn't matter if the gameplay is good or bad I'm going to sit there and review it you know and I think you did, I think you did pretty well, honestly. Uh, and again, it's like, it's quick play as well. So like, you got people doing crazy stuff. All right. We got a ball. We got me playing Sojourn. We have the um, Hanzo, Kiriko, and Mercy. 
This is a pretty good team. So let's give it to them. Uh, but it's going to depend entirely on whether or not Ball is good. And if Ball is really good, then we'll probably do some crazy stuff. And if Ball is bad, well, you know what happens when you have a bad tank, bro. The whole team falls apart when there's a bad tank. When there's a tank who thinks that they are the impact, like they are, they are the role that needs to be there the most, that also provides the least impact in the gameplay. How does that work? I don't know, bro. That's just Overwatch. They have a Reinhardt, which is cute. I see their Widow. Not trying to get sniped by their Widow. I'm gonna slide through that health pack. I'm crouching right now so that they don't know that I'm still here. They think I just disappeared, right? And I'm using my movement ability to get back. Using this high ground on the, um, uh, I don't know what this is, the food truck, I guess. Again, I'm getting out of the way here, trying to break line of sight, uh, grab a health pack. Since I'm not getting any heals, both my healers have died repeatedly. So I gotta be careful of that. See, the Widow is there. She's taking her pop shots at me. I'm just gonna reposition and start firing from a different angle, right? Again, start firing from a different angle. We can see that Mercy, or Moira, is down there, even, and she wants to shoot me. Uh, Widow is down there, again, still firing at me. She's trying to keep my rail charged here. I want to dive and put damage in on this Mercy. There we go. Putting that damage in, charging up the rail. Getting out of the way here. Our uh, Sombra is... Our Sombra is doing what Sombras do. And being either really good or really bad. Classic. I'm gonna put that in on the Rhine. I missed, that's okay. Fuck you. Ah, uh, we got him though. We're good. Just gonna try and dodge these Junkrat mines. Knowing that there's not a Widowmaker anymore, I don't have to worry about being killed immediately. I'll put that right there so that when they come around the corner, they have to take it. Just gonna back up away from the Venture. Again, utilizing my Railgun to ward them off here. Putting heavy damage in on that uh, venture. I need to get this Moira out of the way. That's Moira going down. I'm trapped and probably dead. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if Mercy has res. I got stuck in the junk rat trap, but I did get the venture down with my disruptor shot. And then somebody finished off Ryan as well, who was standing in the disruptor shot. So that feels good, man. They have a sim now, which is adorable. I don't know what they're thinking is going to happen, but I, it's not going to go the way they hope it will. Oh, I missed. That's fair enough. I don't want to be up there with that junk rat, and it's getting very crowded in here, which means it's going to be very easy for junk rat. It's going to be very easy for junk rat to bounce a mine off of me. Just going to put that over there gonna jump up and out of the way here again I'm just getting out of the way thank you my team has figured out that I am the win condition I appreciate that I knew I knew it was coming for me dude it's all good I tried to crouch and be out of the way but it is what it is might have to adjust my approach Coming forward, we're going to go and try and get back up with the squad. I think we just need to concede a little bit of ground. It's a lot of pinging. Too much communication can also be a hindrance, you know? I'm going to headshot this Reinhardt. They no longer have a Mercy, so that makes my life a lot easier. Just 
Just gonna snipe that junk rat out of the air. Just gonna put that up there. I can charge my rail on the Symmetra wall. The junk rat left the game, bro. He didn't like me sniping him out of the air. That's adorable. Thank you. I'm waiting for our tank to appear. I'm getting out of the way. I got booped out of the way, but I was able to put in a whole bunch of damage on that Malga. Gonna kill that Lucio. We're good. They have an Echo now, so I'm gonna charge up the rail on the Malga. And, uh... They have a Torbjorn as well. Which is adorable. We could just expect that Echo is gonna be... Right in the way here. I need to go, because the... Moira is on me. Yeah, dude, both the, uh... Both the Moira and the Lucio got on me while I was at, like, half health there. The Mercy tried, and I appreciate that. You can see this Moira just chasing me. Just chasing me forever. Classic Moira. Hitting the ground running. It's cool. I'm gonna come back. Uh, we lost our Kiriko. We lost our Ball. No, excuse me. Uh, Sombra. And now Ball is gonna die as well. Um, there's no reason for me to go over there. They took the robot. Let's fix that. Fall in on me. On my way. Thanks. Just waiting for the team. Waiting for the team. Ready to overclock. You with me? Ball has an ultimate as well. She's gonna snipe that echo right in her face. Right in her stupid face. Kill that Torbjorn, kill the Torb's turret. Put that on the robot. Charging up the rail on the people that I can see. She said, see ya. Yeah, dude, see ya. Sorry about your uh, face there. Getting out of the way. Because the Moira is just going to fade into me and put in all the damage that she possibly can. I have my ultimate, but I don't want to use it while there's no one alive. Kill their Lucio. Kill their Echo. No, I tried to save that rail for the Moira, but it is what it is. Walk into it, Moira. Walk into the disruptor shop, please. Thanks for the help. Robot's leaving, so I am also leaving. Yeah. That Moira was going down, and there was nothing she could do about it, bro. I was coming for her neck. gonna reload here charging up on the tank missed my jump there Pushing forward, just pushing forward. Making sure that we maintain the lead and that we have the forward spawn and all that. We can hear they have a Zenyatta now. Just charging up the rail on him. Where's this bitch at? 
And they are dead, son. They are dead. Get fucked, kids. Yeah, we destroyed that team, dude. Good game. This is also my favorite game mode, though, so... There was no doubt. And we got a ball play of the game, dude. You love to see it. Let's go, ball. Good job, dude. That was good stuff. That was a fun one. They're not all that easy. Apparently, I've lost the ability to back up photos in my Google, one of my old Google accounts. What a shame, dude. It's almost like I don't use that account anymore anyway. All right, who do I want to give it to? Yeah, dude, our team was slaying. Our team was so good. I'll give it to Mom. Her name was literally Mom. And I'll give it to their Echo. Props. The plus side about uh, Venture being out now is that now that Venture is here, nobody wants to play Sojourn anymore, which is great for me. Like, if you want to give me the best DPS in the game, I will gladly take them. We got um, we got a venture. We got a monkey, we're in this together. Moira, and a life weaver. So we're gonna be weaving some life in this gameplay. Joke about the periodic table. Uh, Winston, please, no. Let Winston tell his joke, bro. What? Why are you so rude? Hi there. Jesus. Winston has such a nice attitude. Why would you stop him from telling a joke? Sombra, what happened? Charging up the rail. Not shooting Sigma in his kinetic grasp. I missed, that's unfortunate. Okay, see you later. Charging up the rail on the... the Sigma barrier. Try and stay with the squad here so that I keep getting heals. Not shooting Sigma during his kinetic grasp. Oh, she's so lucky, bro. Oh, thanks.
Tell him, Venture. Tell him. Hello. Salutations. Nice high. Let shadow consume you. Funny. Breaking them down. Just getting out of the way so that I don't get hit by that or that. Uh-oh. There we go, I got her. Making sure I'm not getting shot from behind. Cool. Ah, good shots, dude. There it is, I was like, where is it? I went to the wrong side. I knew there was a health pack there, I just went to the wrong part. All right, all right. Zio, what's going on? I love when teammates just jump in front of my enemy, in front of enemy abilities. Like, thank you. Yo, for real. Like when that Winston jumped in front of the rock for me a little while ago. That was so clutch. Can't be mad at that one. So, I have my ult. We'll see if I can do something with it here. We need to stagger them. Oh, that that is perfect. Legitimately perfect. Oh no. Well that's it's over. It's over right now. That was a perfect place for him to have teleported to. No oh, well. Will Life Weaver be able to stop it? Nope. Ah, that was a good round. A good round. And that proves that, like, you can still die five times, six times, get half the kills of your other team, and win the game, right? They did good. That was a perfectly timed and placed ultimate from the Reaper. I shot that Reaper. I killed that Reaper like three times that round, uh, but he had the one kill that mattered. Something to think about. Something to keep in mind. When you are, uh, when you're losing, when you're down, you're never out. Because if you're in there and you press the right button at the right time, it could be the end of the game. Alright, I get the picture. Going deep, baby. This is not the end. Why do we swap to Reinhardt? The questions I have, bro, the questions. I missed with that rail, and this Rhine is getting bullied right now. What's up, bitch? What's up? Thought you were tough. Let me claim the point. Good. Can hear that the. All right, the. Uh, I was gonna say I can hear that the Lucio is around me somewhere. Charging up the railgun. Keeping it charged just in case. Waiting for our moment. Waiting for our moment. Put that in there. Charge up my ultimate. That, uh, yeah, he's dead. Keeping it charged. We gotta expect that this Reaper will have an ult very soon. Good. 
We don't want to go too deep here. Because we know that the Life Weaver used his ult, we're just going to wait a second. We're not going to use ours right away. Gonna back up. Put myself in a position where I can charge the rail for free. Charging it on the Winston barrier. And then on the Winston. We see that they have a mercy now. It was worth it. It was worth it in that moment to kill that mercy. All right, so our two DPS are down. And we lose this fight. All right, cool. We just back off now. Just back off if you can. put that right there in case they push out, but they didn't. Good. Charging up the rail on the Winston barrier, making sure it goes down. Making sure this Mercy takes the damage that I can put into her when I can put it into her. We just launched Winston into the air with that. Good. With Mercy down. I know that I am good to go into the barrier and uh, damage up on this Winston. Wherever he is, just gonna keep charge. Keep it charged. We go ahead and kill Bob. We take this. We're good to go. Mercy is shooting me. That's adorable. Gotta get out of the way. Because we can expect that Reaper will have another ultimate very soon. We don't need to fight too hard into this, because we still have time. I'm dead here. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but I think our Life Weaver's gonna get away, so at least he chased me. That's totally fine. Our Life Weaver's doing good, lots of healing. We just gotta kill this Mercy, and we should be good to go. I'm gonna save my movement ability in case the Winston decides he wants to dive onto us, and I need to use it to get away. Or I need to use it to get away from the... And there it is, right? Get the fuck out of here, son. I saw that shit coming that time. Get destroyed. Let's get on with it. Score one to one. That was a good round. All right. That tree. The tree that launched Winston into the air, bro, that was hilarious. Winston was like, whoop! Got lifted all the way up. Hello. Let's win this thing. All right, let's win this thing, baby. Area denial. Charging up the rail. Waiting to see, do they have a mercy? They do. Killing the mercy. Putting that down there, generating the ultimate charge off of the people that take the damage.
And we kill the tank last. Good. Charging up my rail. Charging up my rail. Getting out of the way so I don't charge up Moira's ultimate. You can hear that the tank is coming, so I'm going to pre-fire a little bit. Putting that down range. Making them walk through it. Protecting our Winston. We know that Mercy is going to res him, but that's okay. Putting up my, um, putting up the damage here, charging up the rail. Waiting for a moment, waiting for the moment. Letting them use all their ultimates. Charging up the rail. They're on me, they're on me. Just backing off, just backing off. Protecting our Winston. Hello. All right, baby. And that's a 50 and four here on Samoa. What a game, dude. What a game. 50 and four. You ready for my pogs? This ends now. Uh -huh. On a roll. Days like this never What a game, dude. All right, uh, I'm gonna give it to our Moira and our Life Weaver. That Mercy is having a hell of a time playing against you. Yeah, she's not having a great day. Sometimes, sometimes it's easy. Sometimes the Mercy will not let you kill them. And uh, like uh, those games are particularly annoying. Like they'll never go for a res, but you'll never kill them e either, which makes it extremely difficult. But that one was a pretty good one. I love the 50 plus kill games. You love to see it, baby. I'm gonna pull up the scoreboard again. We'll have a have a gander at our team. Uh, my team is super, super good as well. The entire team. Like, look at the damage we had. Like, all across the board, extremely high damage. Extremely high damage, high kills, right? Low deaths, right? You look at their deaths, like, there's just a lot of them, you know? It's tough. What do we got in the shop today? In the shop today. Oh, we got the blue Lucio frog. I don't know what the skin's called. But uh that was one of the thumbnails I used like a week or two ago. I'm pretty sure I still if I can check, let me just see. No, okay, I used a different skin on Lucio now. I used the green Lucio frog skin for most of Overwatch 1. That was like my favorite skin that I had gotten for him. We're in this together. All of us. I bear my burdens as best I can. Hey, 
Superior firepower is good, but superior brain power is better. Hello. Bro, where'd my spray go? There it is. Hello. Hey. Good to see you. Heisting your capabilities. the stuff. All right. Initial flashpoint. Let's see what goes on on this flashpoint game. They have an echo. They have a mercy. And a tracer. Bro, this tracer just destroyed our team. Uh oh. The echo's on me too. Fuck, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead here. I can do it when it's just tracer, right? I can do it fine when it's just Tracer. It's the Tracer and the Echo that made it tough. Because the Echo can hit me in uh, directions that I can't, um, I can't challenge. Waiting for the team here. Oh no. Well, I'm dead again. I used my movement ability and it stopped on the pillar. I was trying to defend our mercy. We just got we just gotta get together, that's all. We'll be fine. Just need a new plan. Good to see you. Fall in on me. I think we just group up here and just wait. I'll make it worth your while. Thanks for the delivery. Charging up the rail, charging up the rail. She faded at the exact right moment. I'm not sure what we can realistically do here. Put that on the point so that anybody that's on it can hopefully get damaged by it. Yes, I got their mercy. Perfect. It's not their tracer alone. It's their tracer plus their echo shooting me. You can see the shots coming in from their echo above me. It's the two of them diving me at the same time that makes it difficult. I can kill Tracer. They jump at me. Yeah, they're jumping me too. I feel your pain. That was only the first point, though. We still got potentially five more. Putting damage in. Where's the echo? Worth it. Worth it, dude. I got their main support. Our team should be able to go in. Oh, no. Oh, no, bro. This is not going well for our squad. There we go. Come on, Vivian. Get yourself together. Getting their mercy was the thing we needed to do. Straight off the jump, we kill their Mercy. You see their Mercy is now an Ana, which makes my life a lot easier. But we still have to kill um, Echo and uh, Tracer at the same time. Which, like, them fighting the same target is extremely, extremely difficult. Because they're both wily, right? Like, Echo in the sky can hit angles that, that Tracer can't. And, um, Echo and Tracer on the ground can dive people that Echo can't, right? See, like I said, I can kill a tracer. That's not the problem. It's the two of them together. And our fucking tank is dead again. I'm dead here. Yeah. That's too much damage, right? Uh, the three of them together. Our Doom needs to stay alive as well, too. That'll help a lot.
But that's okay. We got some good kills in there. What am I missing? It's a tough team. We're gonna wait for Doom. We're gonna wait for Farah. Try it again. Lost. Also, one thing you gotta remember is that uh, the uh, sometimes the enemy team will just have your number. And that's just part of it. In Overwatch, you're meant to win and lose 50% of the games. So, if you're winning more than 50%, you're already doing better than the game intends for you to do. Wow, good shot, bro. I want to see it. I want to see it. That was amazing, dude. What a great shot. That was a great shot. Is our Doom Fist dead again? No, Doom is alive. We got him, baby. Fear not. We're in this bitch. We're not gonna stop fighting until it's over. Yeah, I can't do nothing about that. I just needed to heal at that moment, that's all. Also, our, um, somebody came in with me and they just needed to put one damage onto her and unfortunately they just didn't. I can put that there. I can't get out of this. Because I just used my movement ability. Man. What a difference between this game and the last game, huh? It's all good. I'm not going to get upset. We're still fighting. My team has two ultimates. If we use them, maybe we can get it. There we go. We got one. Just gotta win three more, or two more even. I'm not gonna keep fighting them. I am gonna cover our Mercy's escape, but I'm not gonna keep fighting them in places where we don't need to. They're just determined to keep coming. I need to get to a health pack before I get dove. I can't, like, I wanted the kill on that Mercy, but I can't, um, can't trade my life for it. Pretty sure she just used her ultimate as well. I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure. Charging up the rail. Mercy one. Good shit. Now. 
I have six hit points. I gotta be very careful about what choices I make next. Yep, I should have dealt with that echo, but I was trying to help my team. My team was getting pushed hard. That's a good game. It's a good game. You see my team, uh, I don't know if you saw what the Moira said on my team to the Mercy. Mercy said, please, can you heal me if I get low health? The Moira said, no. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine playing a support character and you're like, will I, uh, will I heal my teammate? Absolutely not. I'm gonna give it to uh, my two other uh, five rated supports, even though they don't need it. The um, the tank, I wish he had swapped off a Doom Fist at some point. We weren't doing it with Doom, and I think at a certain point you had to realize, like, hey, maybe maybe we don't play Doom, you know? Especially against Arisa. Like, it's no like no offense to him, but Doom is not the one that's gonna beat Arisa. And if it doesn't work off the jump, if you lose two points, you know, maybe maybe you just give it a shot with somebody else, right? The um. There's a lot of heroes that directly counter Orisa, like Zarya. You know, uh, the the Doom Fist could have worked if he could have dove their backline, but he couldn't, right? So, like, it's tough. Tough, man. Good game, though. I had fun. Uh-oh. I think I just put myself in a deathmatch. I don't want to play deathmatch. Get me out of there. Cool. Yeah, that was a fun one. It's always um, more enjoyable to face a team that's really good than it is to face a team that's really bad. Because, like, there's something, there's something satisfying about winning the, um, like, the duels with people. You know what I mean? About winning the, the 1v1s against people who are good more satisfying than killing the entire enemy team when they're all, like, one endorsement rating. Because then it just feels like you're, like, it's like calling in a WWF superstar to beat up kindergartners, you know? And then the other way where it's like you guys are both contenders, I think that that is a, a more enjoyable experience. Uh-oh. Somebody picked Sojourn, dude. What a twist. What do I play now? And we're defending. I don't know. I don't know what to play now. Oh, do I just play something funny? Maybe I should play Torb. You think they'd be mad if I played Torbjorn? Um, alright. Uh... Bad Wolf says you can play whatever you like. Uh, that's ironic because you took the character I wanted to play. I am gonna play Soldier. Because I don't have that, um... I don't have that... I don't really want to play Tracer. I don't have the tank to support a Tracer. I don't want to play uh, Widow because they could just easily swap to a Widow because they have spawn advantage. I also need to get used to, like, Soldier has the opposite keybinds of my Sojourn. So I have to get used to that. I'll probably fat finger some Helix Rockets here and there. But I think we'll be okay. Should be able to put in some heavy damage here. Moira was not a team player. Yeah, that was a dick move for her to be like, no, like, I'm not going to heal you. Like, the Moira's damage is not that good to be like, no, Mercy, you don't get any heals. And it never is going to be. Moira's just not that good of a character. Um, Like, Mercy is a more valuable support in general, so. Um... Uh, like, uh, more valuable than a DPS Moira, is what I mean. Like, I would rather have a Mercy than a DPS Moira, a TikTok Moira any day of the week, you know what I mean? Just gonna force their queen back. Pretty sure their venture died. Yeah, she did. They did, even. I would expect Sombra to be on top of me at any moment. Oh, okay, Sombra is a Hanzo now. Just gonna drop that right there for myself. 
see the Hanzo wants me real bad. Not only because I have the high ground position, but because I chased them when they were Sombra and killed them. Made them swap over to a different character. Okay, their May went down. We're good. Our Mercy also went down, though, so that doesn't feel good. Bro. That Widow wanted it so bad. They really can't, though. Yeah, 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 I see you, Widow. From the right. I need to bind my ping button. Again, I unbound it, and now I don't have it bound anymore. They're so lucky they didn't take the damage from that helix rocket. Ah, uh, shit, our sojourn's down. This character, this guy just doesn't know what to play, bro. He's just trying anything. He's like, I'll be a Reaper, I'll be a Sombra, I'll be a Hanzo, I'll be a Widowmaker. Whatever it takes to win. In general, when people do that, you can tell that they um, don't know what to do. They don't know how to play, they don't know who to play. It's real nice of you to run away. Look, the Reaper went up to my high ground position because he thought I was up there. Where are you going, fam? You dead. Well, had to reload at a clutch moment. I saw it coming my way, I was like, well. That's my first death though, so we're doing good. They're gonna have to try right now. This is their moment. And if I can engage with their Ana in a position where, never mind, she needs to die immediately. Okay. We're good. We're good. That was a good game. Woo! My goodness. Somebody said happy Halloween, everyone. Bro, that is, I don't understand, I don't understand, what do you mean happy Halloween? Dude, it's April. It's April in every part of the world, what are we talking about, happy Halloween? Uh, who do I give it to? I give it to their Anna. Well done, Anna. Yo, that, so, so their, their DPS was... A Sombra at first, then they swap to a Hanzo, then they swap to a Widowmaker, then they swap to a Reaper, and at the end, they decided to play Tracer. Clutch, bro. In general, when you see somebody swap that many times, like I was saying earlier, that is indicative of them just not knowing how to play. Like, they don't, they're not good at any one character. They can try their best, right? Uh, but, you know. They, when... I love this. This is the meme. This is the the This is the jealous girlfriend meme, dude. That's hilarious. Oh my god, that's good stuff.
Uh, shop. There we go. Got the Safari Winston skin. I like that his mustache is a different color than his beard. It's cute. And the Poison Dart Lucio. Man, that's a cool looking frog, bro. I never get tired of the good skins in Overwatch. I love the way the good ones look. This is not one of my favorite ones. Although you would think I would like it because uh, this was the style when I grew up, but I'm not into the uh, haircut. The haircut takes it for me. It's the reason why I wouldn't play it. Sad days. And we got the, we're sipping tea and the Kiriko spray. I like that one. Zenyatta's Dozo. I've never had these, uh, whatever they are. But it looks delicious. I bet it's really good. The Echo Stealth skin still up. We got the Talon Baptiste is up. I'm not sure if this is just up today. Or if this has been up, like, all week. But the, um, GG's. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, there might be an extreme delay if that's where we're at. It's just, uh, let's just be certain that that is not where we're at. I'm just gonna fast forward this all the way. Should be... It looks like it's caught up to me. Like, pretty much. Oh, no, it is not caught up. It's definitely got a delay. Let's see here. Takoyakis are so good. What is a takoyaki? I am unfamiliar. The snack Zen is holding. I am unfamiliar. What's in it? It looks like dough balls to me. Like, um... I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. I had something that, that I feel like would be similar. It was filled with, like, cheese and rice and tomato sauce. But I don't know if that's the same thing. Well, we know they have a Doom Fist. And we know that he's going to be bad. Because of the way he's spamming his voice lines in the spawn right now. I say as I mistime my jump into a sign. Whatever, at least it's off cooldown. Alright, here we go. Charging up the rail on the Doom. Gonna kill that Sojourn. Charging up the rail. Put that back there so that they take the extra damage. Because I was just uh, damage boosted. Just firing a little bit of pop shots over into the corner. Grilled octopus inside dough balls. Yo, that sounds amazing. I don't know if I've ever had octopus. I like calamari though. Is that similar? The Italian in me loves some calamari, bro. Well. Well, I fat fingered my way off of the, the high ground. And mistimed my jump, so we're doing great. That's okay, though. With our Farah down in there, I'm gonna have to be extra damaging here. See, there, Moira has no hit points. Do they stay as Doom? Of course they do, bro. You know a Doom Fist doesn't swap. Bro, look at him. Look at this cutie. This is adorable. Stand in this. And of course he's gonna put it on me. What if I just kill your Moira? 
Gonna defend our mercy. I was trying to defend our mercy anyway. Well, I'm dead. Best case scenario, I put that there and I maybe make it around the corner. When our tank went down, I expected he would live. Okay, time to go. Yep, time to go. Backing away into this corner. Did I not pick up the health pack? I thought I did. Have to watch it on his kill cam. Never mind. Pretty sure there's a Bastion right there. Just gonna grab this health pack and get out of the way. Okay, see you later. Good job. You guys are doing great. They got two out of the three pie pieces, though, so legitimately they are doing great. You gonna put it on me again? Did our tank just die? God damn it. Well, I'm dead. Yep. That's okay. That was a good shot on their part. Our tank overextended and decided to fight the Bastion. It's kind of like Calamari, but I think only some of the flakes on the Takoyaki, Takoyaki and the dough are the only things battered. Gotcha. It sounds good, though. I love seafood. The Italian in me is all about some seafood. Just gonna kill that Mercy, or that Moira, even. Waiting for my disruptor shot to come off cooldown. Put it right there at the entrance there. I'm just gonna completely ignore this Doom Fist until he gets to the place I want him to be. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going around this corner. I'm not interested in that in that sauce that's down there. We're just asking to die in that in that space. That's what Farah gets. Why was she down there anyway? When she could just fly over the wall there. Put that down onto him, charge up my rail. We are holding them pretty goddamn hard. Did not want to jump down here. <sighs> it sucks when you can't get a heal when you need it. You know? The Mercy was healing somebody else. Now she's resing me into the team. And like this is just death for me. Like why would you why would you res me here? Like, why would you do that? Stop going for reses. Stop being so eager to use the res, bro. I appreciate it, though. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but Jesus Christ. What am I missing? Let me live, fam. Not gonna chase it. Charging my ult on the side angle. Getting out of the way. It's unfortunate, dude. He keeps catching me when I don't have my movement ability. That one hit, the one hit potential on that is real. They increase the damage that that does. At least I'm pretty sure they did with season 10. Almost certain they did. 
We don't fight into the Kitsune rush if we can help it. Doesn't look like they're even standing in it, though. Like, again, Mercy goes for this res, but ends up dying in the process. Gonna get out of the way. Charging up the rail. I had my movement ability that time. I saved it specifically for this moment. I stood in the disruptor shot. I saw myself in it, but I was hoping I would get a heal. Thankfully, we got there um, with the help of my rail gun. We got their doom down. The Doom is the one causing the main chaos in our squad right now. Like, our team, our tank is dying a fair amount, but part of that is because the Mercy keeps rezzing him. With their Doom down, that's literally the win condition. Alright, cool. I am getting heals. So at least they know I exist. Hog, why do you stand in front of that bastion like that, bro? That's like the fourth time or something like that that Hog has stood directly in front of the bastion. Just gonna get out of the way, use my movement ability. Gotta be careful of what I do next because I need that off cooldown for when the Doom Fist uses Meteor Strike. Again, I'm just moving out of the way. Yep, yep. It's over, fam. It's over. Oh, that was a tough fight. That was actually a really good doom. I sometimes do that and shout, now fight, and we both die. Yo, that is so funny. It really does happen like that, though. The Mercy Res is the most valuable and dangerous uh, ability in the entire game. It can really turn the tide of a fight. Or, get you both killed instantly. And a lot of times, who was complaining about not getting heals? Somebody on the enemy team? Ah, they're Bastion. And a lot of times, the um, res will actually go through. It will go off, right? And then, you will still get killed, right? Like, the, the res will happen. You'd think that the Mercy would die before the res happens. But it just happens, and then she immediately dies afterwards, and then you're just standing there in the middle of the entire group, and then you die, right? Like the, um, you'd think that it would be, it would deny it, right? Before she, if she dies immediately when the res goes off, that it shouldn't go through. But they love giving it to you. Never in my life am I purchasing an ultimate battle pass. I've been playing this game for free for like two years. I bought Overwatch 1. The only money I've ever spent on this store is for the Echo Vampire Bat skin. One time. Bang. The Echo Vampire Bat skin. Sexiest looking skin in the game, in my opinion. Very cool. Super thematic. It's got like the, the hands holding a blood orb on her back. Like the wings look cool. Her fingers look cool. The entire skin is super dope, right? And then I never use it. I don't know who's buying the um, the upgraded battle pass, but more power to you, dude. I don't like the skins that much. 
be spending like forty dollars or, or something. Yo, did you guys know? Did you know that it is eighty dollars to purchase a mythic skin, and uh, and the upgrades for it, like the uh, different customization options. If you want to buy the mythic prisms to actually get one of these skins that they put in the store, it is eighty dollars U.S. Isn't that ridiculous? Who is paying for that? We're in this together. All of us. Hello there. Hey. Hello. Keep in sight. I'll have us in and out in no time. Good kitty. Um. Need someone to tuck you in? Let's see. Um. What's our tank's name? I don't mind killing one. Underoos. But go on. Okay, it still has last match. It doesn't have this match. Y'all were in the same spots on opposite sides. Um, the sojourn? Yeah, me and the sojourn? Yeah, we were. The delay is crazy. I'm so sorry. We were chilling. Our queen is in hot with their team right now. Yeah, dude, that Arisa got obliterated. They're gonna have a tough time. This is gonna be one of those games for them, I think. We have really good everyone. Dr. Jackman. What a spear, bro. Am I just like, am I elastic to these spears? Like, they find me in all kinds of places. Putting the damage in, charging the rail on their tank. Just gonna put that behind them. You purchased it? Oh my god. You want the mercy, the mercy mythic. I don't blame you. It is a very, very cool skin. I think we're dead here. I think we lose if I keep fighting this. I think I might die anyway. Even if we don't keep fighting it, yeah, no. We just leave. Hello, I'm sorry. Feeling better. My ultimate is Thank ready you. to be unleashed. I only purchased the $10 battle pass. I don't think there's anything wrong with the $10 one. The $10 battle pass, I think, is fine. It's when you think about the, um... When you think about how much... The accelerated battle pass is, it's like $40. Jesus Christ. I swear to God, I am like... I'm a magnet for spears. Sojourn in general, just a spear magnet. You've heard of chick magnets? I'm a spear magnet. Uh-oh. I'm gonna put that there. I want to use my ultimate, but my tank and my other support are dead. It's fine, we just regroup, I think. I tried to stall it for you. Ah, uh, we're not quite back in time. Well, it was worth it. Yeah, dude, I can't imagine. Like, $80? Like, come on, dude. That's so much money to spend on a skin for, um, for, like, Overwatch. For any game, right? Like, it's not as bad as Valorant, though. Have you ever played Valorant? Have you seen Valorant's store, out of curiosity? Because that is the craziest uh, microtransactions I've ever seen in any game. Our tank is going to die.
I am stuck. There we go. Cool. I really need to get back up with my team, but I need our tank to not die. But our tank is playing queen into a an Arisa, so it might be tough. Again, I'm, I'm just going to try and get up with him. Try and get back together here. Not so fast. Make an attempt. When I hear, let's take him to the wasteland, I'm going to go ahead and hit my ultimate. No fucking way that didn't kill them, bro. I a thousand percent, one thousand percent did I hit the railgun shot on that ash. I did get her in the end, though, so at least there's that. I don't know why our tracer didn't go in, bro. What are you doing? Anyway. Yeah, like, the, uh, the mercy skin is very, very cool, though. The ability to put the skull on it. Like, that's probably my favorite Mercy skin that's ever been added to the game. She's got some cool skins, too, though. But, like, in general, I think that one's the best. Uh, but, like, for $80, get the fuck out of here, bro. That's two Helldivers, right? That's two... That's, uh, two Last Epochs with 10 bucks left over for lunch. Like, they so crazy. Our tank is new. That's what it comes down to. Our tank is just new, bro. Man, remember when I thought it was going to be us? Kicking their ass? Bro, my ass. I did not hit that rail on her, bro. I know I did. There we go. It's crazy. We got him, though. We're in here. Our tank's doing things. And again, I think this is uh, just our tank being new. I'm not going to hate on them. I'm not going to drop any mean things. A lot of people are dropping uh, some hate talk in the chat here, and I don't like it. Not a fan of that. That's what you were looking for when you jumped up there, right? You wanted the sauce? I got some sauce for you. Don't worry. Got plenty of sauce for your ass. Will they come and try and contest this? It would be stupid of them to, in my opinion. Like, yeah, now we just go have another team fight at the next place. I'm going to go around, though, because I don't want to be with them. Okay, apparently I'm going to be with them. Like, I don't want to be with the enemy as we walk to the next point. Like, that shit's just going to piss me off. Alright, cool. We're good. We move to the next point, and we're good. I'm taking the long road, bro. I'm going to let these idiots do whatever they want to do on their own.
Ah, oh, shit. Well, I was at the wrong place. I thought I was at this, uh, side. Oh, we just leave. Our Tracer has given up, dude. Lucky you. Like, Tracer, if you would come and engage, like, we could have more kills. We could win this shit. I'm not sure if they just left when shit got spicy or what, but... Like, if, if we have two DPS in there, we will do better. We might not win entirely, but we will do a lot better. Yeah, I'm not I'm not throwing it away for that. We just ain't making it, dog. Like our tank has like a one endorsement rating, I think. A two. Yeah, it's okay. It's alright. Our tracer is also a two endorsement. Um Yeah, that, that's what I said. Everybody could see it. A GG tank diff. It's all good. I don't want to insult anybody. I want that person to keep playing. You know, it's the start of the season, too. Like, bro, if we if we kick people out now, like, we ain't never going to have anybody. By the end of the season, there's going to be, like, four people playing Overwatch. And they're all going to be streamers. You know? Their team, was, their team was pretty balanced. Along with ours. I can't endorse anyone on our team. Except for the two support. Like, the the tank, I want them to keep playing, but I don't want to drop the endorse on them. Because I want them to play better, right? I want them to keep going. I probably should have given it to the tank instead of the, um... Instead of the Ana. Now I feel bad. But they did die, like, eight times. Which is a lot. Alright. We'll keep going. We'll run it back. I really thought that we were going to destroy them, that game. I think our Tracer quit playing at a certain point, though. If you look at my damage compared to our Tracer's damage, like, that's a pretty significant difference. They were in there for a lot of the kills, though, so I don't know. Hard to say. But our, uh, you know, these two people died a significant amount of times comparatively. Ah, well. Take the good with the bad. And you keep going. We got the, uh, the Helldiver skin, or spray, even for, uh, Sojourn, have you guys played Helldivers? Do you have any interest in that? That is like, uh, that's one of those games. I bought it, I played it for like 10 minutes, and then I never played it again. So it's just sitting in my, uh, in my Steam library. Legitimately, I played it for like 10 minutes. I went to, I made it through the tutorial, and I named my ship, and then I shut it off, and that was like two months ago, or something like that. Whenever it came out, first week it came out. You guys play Helldivers? Together. Let me know. All of us. Superior firepower's good, but superior brain power's better. Who's ready to have some fun? So we have a Reinhardt, we have a Soldier and a Sojourn, we have a Moira and a Lucio. This is actually a pretty good team, although, um, Filthy Casual is a name for somebody who is, like, really, really good. So we're going to see. They don't have any titles. They don't have, you know, I can't check their uh, endorsement rating. They do have a Reinhardt skin, though. I don't know when that skin is from, so maybe they've just played for a long time, right? Got to be careful here of the... Oh, they have a Reinhardt, too. Cute. Got to be careful here of the Widow. We're just going to kill their Ryan right off the spawn. Put that down there for their venture. Readjust my arm so that I can aim properly. See that Zen is up here. I can't get to him, but 
I can put damage in his general direction. My team's going hard at them right here. Walking all the way up to their spawn door. Never something I recommend. Just gonna kill their Ana from back here. Charging up the rail on their Rhine. Put that there in case Venture decides to come out. See their Venture is up top here. Just keeping the rail charged. I'm gonna headshot them from super far away. Put the fear of God in them. Just gonna line of sight this bastion. I missed that one. That's all right. Their Ana is trying to get me. And I gotta be careful of that. I'm gonna put that there for my team. Giving up the high ground here. Because my team is falling apart. Falling apart hard. Yep, I'm dead. It's all right though. I charged up my rail or my uh, overclock the rest of the way there. I got somebody in the head with that. Almost killed them. I think it was Zen. You're all in on Overwatch. Nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I played it for like ten minutes. Um. I deserve to die for dropping down. Yeah, I deserve to die. It was always going to happen as soon as I dropped down. I knew we couldn't contest that point. I don't know why I went for it, but the Ryan went too, so at least I didn't leave him hanging. Our team is pushed way too far back right now. Like, we should not be all the way back here when the payload is way at the other side. I'm just gonna use this high ground position. Shoot everyone that I can. I can't get any heals from up here, so... Gotta be really careful about what I do. Why would you use TAC Visor right now, bro? You ain't doing nothing, fam. You are dead. Maybe he got a fat shad. That shit was scary, bro. Good lord. Like, if that Bastion had come around the corner, that would have been my whole butthole clenched up. Zen, why do you love me? Go away, fam. Pick somebody else. Is our tank still alive? Yeah, he's still up. Both of our support just died, so now I gotta go. I gotta just back into the spawn and get myself healed. This game, and my team is getting fucking destroyed, bro. Whatever, dog. I'll just walk back into the spawn. Defeat. 
My team, bro, their deaths. Six deaths, seven deaths, five deaths, four deaths. Woof. They just gotta practice playing their life. Just gotta practice playing your life, dude. That's all. You'll do a lot better once you get used to uh, playing as though you are actually going to die in real life. When you start playing like you're actually gonna die in real life, it's amazing how different you approach engagements. Like, oh, if I die, I'm actually dead. I'm literally dead. You know, and people don't think of it like that. They're just playing a video game. So, like, for them, it's like Call of Duty, right? Like, they just run in, and then they respawn, and they're they're back in the fight. They're a different soldier or something. You think of it like a war. It's like an endless stream of soldiers just going in and dying and going in and dying. Not Soldier 76, but you get what I mean. Generic soldier. Speaking of Soldier 76. But, um... But, yeah, dude. You start playing your life as though it is actually you... It changes the way that you approach everything. It changes the way you fight. It changes the way that you um, you see what's happening in front of you. The way you experience danger. When you start feeling like when you start feeling real danger when you're playing a video game, like your your danger sense, your actual mind, like uh, tells you that danger is here. Your fight or flight response kicks in. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, you you completely play the game differently. Someone says I'm gonna try out a different tank. I don't mind. I don't mean, don't mind me sailing. That's okay. If you can't play RAM, just try turning on your monitor. I believe in you, other guy. Ramacho's not my favorite tank. But you know what, dude? If that's what you want to play, go ahead. All right. The doors open up on King's Row. In chess, the pawns go first. We're watching for Widowmaker snipe shots. Listening. There she is. Because of that. Oh, that was such a good shot, dude. That was such a good shot. And the Mercy gets the res on me. Thanks, Merce. I owe you one. It would be so delicious to uh, snipe diff this Widow over and over again. Especially as Sojourn. Uh, because, like, it requires so much more precision. Because you don't have a zoom. Trouble is, I have to actually charge up the rail for that. And it's making it very difficult. Yo, the Junkrat just fucking obliterated their Zarya with the tire. Oh my god, that's so satisfying. Good for you, Junk. Dude has trauma. I don't know what they're talking about, but alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do that right now. I don't have any... I don't have any charge on the rail, baby. Gotta charge that rail up before I can challenge the Widow. I can see her, though. I can see her looking for it. I know the Widow is here. There she is. She was just trying to stand still so that her uh, feet didn't make any noise. That was adorable. I don't think I have any kills right now. If I do, it's because my team has helped. I'm too busy trying to have a snipe off with the Widow, you know? 
I'm ego dueling the widow right now. Thankfully, we're holding them pretty effectively. I just gotta be careful about where I go. What angles I peek and whatnot. I'm just waiting. Playing my angle super hard. Not so fast. Excavation initiation. Money for real gun charge. Ladies and gentlemen, go fast your engine. Clear out. There hang the pot. There we go. I don't see their widow at all now. And I'm looking for her too. Just keeping my rail charged. Put that out there. Well, the venture did good, kind of waiting. This ends now. Calculated. All right. That's how it's supposed to look. Uh, let me just see here. Damn it, I can't type. I'm gonna give that widow some love, dude, because that was a that was an awesome snipe that she did on me from the spawn while I was in the air as a soldier, and that was actually incredibly dope. So can't be mad about that one. I think I got that was a good uh, that was a good game as well. We full held them. Um, they never even made it to the point, really. So, let's just see. Uh, what did they say? Report our tank for harassment. Uh, where is... I don't see anything, any harassment going on. So, I'm not gonna report anybody. But, uh, you know, who knows? It's possible that that could have been. Gotta go, great playing. Thank you, Zio. I appreciate you, uh, for hanging out today. I hope you have a great rest of your afternoon, and I will catch you tomorrow. If you are around, I'll be here. You know where to find me. You know when I'll be on. I'll be here. Having a good time. Doing my thing. All right. It is 141. Probably got one more in me before we call it here. And then that way I can go make some lunch. And get on with the rest of today. Got a bunch of stuff I got to do later on tonight. I like Arisa's new uh, Overwatch 2 skin better than the Overwatch 1 skin. It's got like a cleaner look to it. Also, it looks like she has hair. Like in here, it looks like she has horns, right? But somehow they made her look like she has hair. And like that's kind of impressive. Low key. Also, in the Overwatch 1 skin, it looks like she's uh, been smoking the ganj. But in the Overwatch 2 skin, it looks like she's she's focused. Like she's locked in, you know? Attacking on Route 66. 
Uh, so we'll see how this goes. This could go either way, right? I don't see anybody from the previous game, and if they are here, I don't know about it. Uh, Visor V, Void Monarch. Nah, none of the people from the previous game, which is good. That means there's actually people playing Overwatch. We're in this together. All of us. Let's do it. What's up, fam? How y'all feeling? I'm gonna punch these windows. Knock them out. If you're up for it, I bet our bioarchaeology team would love to have you. The dead tell intriguing tales. But my interest lies with the living. I'm always interested to see what voice lines Venture has. I like the little interactions that people have with different characters. We're just going to wait because we anticipate them being right here. Why is it the only time I get uh, attack max is when I'm tank? I don't know, fam. Is that ours? Yep, that is ours. Great. Just going to get out of the way here. Take a cool angle. Make sure I don't take this duel with the cast too hard. Cast is down, so now I'm good. I can walk forward because I'm in his uh, I'm in his area, right? Like I don't want to be in his area, uh, in his effective range, basically, while I'm dueling him. I'd like to be out of his effective range so that he has damage fall off on me, which gives me the advantage. I'm charging up the rail on this uh, Sigma, and then I'm gonna attack this Mercy. Can't get the mercy, so I'm just gonna toss that out there. And hopefully I can grab uh, the kill on this Alari. Again, the Cassidy is gonna want me, so I gotta be careful about taking this duel in the wrong place. I wanna try and get into the Mega before it's too late, and I was able to, so that's great for me. Just gonna kill their Ilari. We killed their Sigma with the mech call-in. He thought he was about to get some value high noon going. Instead, he got some uh, value kill cam showing. Absolutely pushing their shit in right now. They have a Winston now. Winston and a Widow. Gonna kill their Winston. I will stay on the payload. Make sure that we get to move it. We know that they have a Mercy, so it could be very easy for them to go in and get the res on this Winston. Just gotta be careful. Looks like they're just gonna wait for him to spawn. That's fine with me. Their Widow swaps to a Sombra, so. Sombra? They have a Sombra now? Yeah, I'm gonna switch. Just kidding. <laughs> Good shot. Charging up the rail here. Just kind of getting out of the way so that we don't get hit by the sunburst debuff. Not looking to get destroyed by that. That was crazy, but we, we we lived, thankfully, from the help of our D.Va. I don't think they challenge at this point. That would be really stupid of them. Okay. Now the, now the fun part, right? Like, getting it around this corner is always tough. We're on our way. 
Charging up the rail. Protecting our team, peeling for our team here. Being scary. Continuing our push. Oh, shit. Charging up the rail on their Winston. Just getting out of the way here. I don't want to put myself into a death scenario. Just getting out of the way. Making sure that my team is good. Keeping an ear for their Sombra. You can hear that she is here. There she is. Charging up the rail. Walking in. Good game, good game, everybody. <clears throat> yeah, that was a good game, dude. That's an 18 to 0 here on Route 66 attack. We were in there, baby, kicking ass, taking names. Oh, what's up, baby? Yeah, it's how it's supposed to look. All right, all right, so. Tomorrow, hang on, let me just, uh, let me just, where are you? There you are. Boom, all right, so, it's gonna do it for today, but that was a lot of fun, dude. Um, we had some really strong games. Playing against Venture, it, it honestly doesn't seem like it's that difficult. Um, I know Blizzard had said that they felt like Venture was pretty balanced here, um, in the, uh, like, in the sandbox. And I gotta be honest, like, and they introduced them right away into competitive, which is, in general, just not something that they do. Normally, they wait two weeks before they introduce a hero into comp, uh, but this was the first one ever that they pulled out and immediately, uh, like, released for uh, quick play and competitive at the same time at release. And, and, like, this is the first hero that they've released in Overwatch 2 that's also not locked behind the battle pass, so, you know, that could have something to do with it. And maybe they just want people playing as much as possible. But, like, in general, I, I think that the hero is actually pretty balanced. And that's not something that you could say a lot of times when a hero releases or, like, a new thing comes out in a video game. They have to make it overpowered. They intentionally make it overpowered so that they can um, reel it back in later. But when something is OP as it comes out, it draws a lot of people to the game and it makes them play, right? Which means they'll spend money on the game or the hope that they spend money on the game. And, um, I just don't think that's the case with Venture. I think they came out pretty balanced. And in general, I think we'll have like largely the same sandbox. If you just play a character that is ranged, you could probably get away with fighting them pretty easily. 
I want to thank Spicy One for sending in the gameplay review today. If you'd like to have your gameplay reviewed here on the show, send me the import code to DudeNoWayLive at gmail.com. I'll be back tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm Moonchild of Dude No Way, and I will see you in the next stream. Take it easy.